Thanks, Chris. And here we go again. This morning, Hannah Scandera went before a Senate committee looking to finally be confirmed as the Education Secretary. Will the fifth try be the charm? News 13's Cole Miller is at the hearing. He's live at the Roundhouse. Cole. Well, Kim, that hearing is going on on the floor directly above me, and there's been a lot of back and forth so far. It's been going on since 9 o'clock this morning. This comes down to the fact that she's the governor's appointee, and we need to respect the office. It's been four years, and I think that we need to allow Ms. Scandera to serve another four years. And when the governor took office in 2011, the Scandera appointment immediately set off a firestorm because of her track record down in Florida and lack of any classroom experience. Here, she's been hammered by educators for her teacher evaluation system and focus on standardized testing. The state Senate has toyed with Scandera's confirmation the past four years, even grilled her at times and voted her down when it's made it to a vote. The secretary designate of the PED is not qualified for the job. The state constitution says that she must be a qualified educator. She is not a qualified educator. She does not have um, experience um, as a teacher. And in the time we were up at that hearing, Scandera deferred answering any questions until all opponents and supporters had a chance to speak. The PED is waiting to comment until a vote has been made. Kim. Okay, thank you, Cole. Now, this is mostly symbolic for Scandera to get rid of the designate tag once and for all. Now, the Senate cannot oust her. And right now, teachers are marching from the Santa Fe Rail Yard to the Capitol. We'll have all that and the vote coming up on News 13 at 4.